me when I came to it because I had so much hatred. When they told me who the guys was that killed my son, who I had so much hatred toward them, but guess what I did? God made me be a better person. I went to each one of those guys and told them I was a mother, even though my son was dead and gone. Wasn't nothing if I did something to them, that wasn't gonna bring him back. So by learning all this, it made me a better person. I never forgave. Mm. You have to forgive to get to where you wanna go to. So that was memorable to me. I still remember that at uh, um, the struggle. So it was, a, it, was a, it was a great internship because of the struggle. Because if there was no struggle, then you know, they weren't even interested, they weren't even trying. But they struggled and, and um, got a little sleep and you know, different stuff like that to try to make it work. And um, graduation was cool too. I'm Walker. I'm from Roanoke, Alabama. I was a 2016 Kanye Tucker Social Justice Intern. One of the things that stuck out to me the most was when we went into the community, into public housing, and talked to the people. Um, since I was um, a law student, I had just graduated and I had just taken a bar. One of the things that I did was we talked to the people about their rights, and I was surprised to know that a lot of people in public housing didn't know their rights, and that stood out to me the most. Hello, my name is Ulu Adamilola Anmashan. I am from Providence, Rhode Island. I was the 2016 Connie Tucker Social Justice Intern. And one of the most pivotal and meaningful experiences for me was the intergenerational dialogue between Dr. Bernard Lafayette and some community leaders with the interns of 2016. And this was important because we, we had the opportunity to discuss some pressing issues and also provide some efficacious solutions. And I would hope, my prayer and my hope is that you would also find this experience to be meaningful. I'm Cameron Reese. Um, I'm from Tuskegee, Alabama. Uh, did the Connie Tucker uh, internship 2016. And uh, one of the things that stuck out to me was the EGI lynching um, memorial project that we went to. And um, we did uh, some things that, and we found out some um, untold stories about some lynching that happened in Alabama, Georgia, places like that. And um, we went out and we uh, dig soil. And um, we learned about different people, the untold bodies that were never found there. And um, it was a great experience. A lot of different ingredients that I won't tell, but my main ingredients is love. I, I, I love the work I do. I love um, the way when they taste my food, they're like, oh, Mama Callie, that was so good. Or, I never tasted that before. I think I like it. Or, I had greens, but I never had them like this. Or, And that's that's it makes, it makes it all worthwhile. It makes the preparation and all the time that's put into the food. Uh, I try to cook as natural as I possibly can. Um, try to use the the best food that I can so that they can enjoy a good old southern meal from a good old southern woman.